Hi, and welcome to this demonstration video where we're going to show you how to connect your MyWish for iPad, iPhone or Android device to uh, your Windows Home Server 2011 running the MyWish for Windows Home Server 2011 software. Um, I have the collection on the iPad here as well. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's the same functionality on, on Android uh, and on iPhone, so I'll just show it here on the iPad. Just click into settings, scroll down a bit, see there there's the option saying connect to my movies for vhs 2011 click that we have the option here to input an internal address which is which is the ip number and an external address which is uh, the external web address of your windows home server if you are out of the house um, depending on on the network configuration you might only be able to connect to the internal network when you're uh, when you're at, at home um, so i'll just add the ip address of my Windows Home Server here. We recommend setting a fixed IP address on your Windows Home Server through your router so that you can uh, have a uh, IP number that doesn't change um, on the server. And I'll just click connect. And you see we get a new button down here called downloads. When I browse into my collection, click on a video, I have a button say download, click on that one. And we can see that the video is now downloading from the Windows Home Server to the iPad. The video is downloading here is videos that has been pre uh, transcoded to uh, to an MP4 format by the video converter function within uh, my Wish for Windows Home Server 2011. Um, that functionality is, is going to grab a video when you copy the disk. It's going to automatically take the video and copy it into a format uh, that is uh, compatible with the uh, with uh, iPhone, iPad, or, or one for for each one. Um, so, I can go in, and go back here, take another one, press download, and it's just going to be added to the download queue. You can see here that it's, the video is, is waiting, and once the first one is, is done transferring, it's going to uh, start uh, processing the second one. I'm just going to pause the video for a second, and we'll be back when the, the first video is, is done transferring. Okay, back now where the first video is done transferring. And uh, you can see here in the in the list, we can press the info button to get some details about the movie. And on the movie details page, we have a play button, or we can start the playback from uh, from the uh, option here, or opening the title in our collection here. We have the play button as well. So I'll just press play, and the video is going to start playing. And you can scroll in it as you would like there. So, by doing this, you can uh, now synchronize your videos from your Windows Home Server 2011 down to your mobile devices, uh, either uh, in-house or when you are out of the house. Um, these videos are again, as mentioned, pre-converted, um, so they're not they're not live streaming from the servers. They're they're downloading to the device so that you can take them with you in, uh, in the car or or wherever you you haven't got any uh, fixed uh, high-speed networks. So. Thank you for watching.